Hi Aries, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and jump into it, Aries. Thank you, God, for blessing Aries with a clear, concise message. All right, so some of you have created this, created this mental prison for yourself, overthinking things, going over stuff that just doesn't make any sense, that shouldn't even be in your, your thought process. Um, you know, overthinking is uh, that needs to be rectified. That comes from uh, not trusting yourself and not listening to your intuition, all right? So, um that's where some of you are thinking negatively also. Okay. Um, self-imposed prison, you know, feeling like you can't do anything. You're waiting for somebody else to come and rescue you or waiting for rescue. I don't know. All right. And that could be someone around you too, Aries. It doesn't have to be you. All right. So let's see what's going on for Aries this week. All right. Two cards coming out, Aries. Um, the queen of swords in reverse, the five of swords in reverse. Five of Swords in reverse is good. Queen of Swords, maybe not so much. Um, you're not being objective. You're not letting something go. Again, back to this overthinking, overprocessing something to the, to the point where it is just, it's taking a toll on you negatively. You're not seeing something clearly, okay? Um, you're not able to cut out things that actually need to be cut out. Um, you're holding on to things that just don't mean you any well or any good. It's not adding value to you, adding value to your mental space, to your relationship. Um, some of you are absolutely grade A bitches right now with the Queen of Swords in reverse. And this could be someone else around you. Um, some of you are unhappy in your marriage or in a relationship. Uh, or you know that someone else is and you're still holding on or... You're still holding on, but you're absolutely horrible in that connection. Um, you're driving the other person crazy and vice versa. They're driving you crazy. All right. What's the advice here for my Aries? The seven of wands. Okay. Um, fight for what you have here. Some of you are fighting to get somebody's attention and to keep it. Um, I guess I heard any attention is some, any attention is good attention. Wow. Um, seven of wands here. Somebody, it's like, um, they have a destructive influence over you anyhow. Okay. They're not coming into your life. Once again, to add value, they're coming in to destruct whatever you've constructed. It's like, maybe you've got your confidence back or you were in a marriage or you're in a commitment or you're in a relationship or you're just really trying to stand firm on what it is you believe, but they're trying to destruct that for you either energetically or by way of their words. Um, be the activist in your own life, you know, fight for what it is you believe in, what you stand on. Don't be easily swayed or moved. Learn when to fight. Also, every battle doesn't need to be fought. Um, what is the outcome here for Aries? Okay. So we got the chariot in reverse coming out. Um, there's no forward movement. Somebody's not over something. Someone can't move on. Someone can't move into a new positive direction. Again, paralysis analysis is going over and over stuff that is trivial, menial. Um, get a hobby. Get a group of friends. Get someone who can be honest with you. Get around people who care about you, your intentions. Somebody, a car got repossessed here. Jesus Christ. Um, what is the chariot in reverse? The queen of cups. The Ten of Pentacles, uh, somebody selfish within a committed relationship, within a marriage, within a household, with the kids, with the dog, with the family, with everything. They have everything that they could ever want, but they're self-centered. They still want more. Um, somebody is, uh, yeah, they're trying to develop themselves and, and themselves only. Um, they could be taking a self-centered approach to the relationship here. Somebody doesn't want to move into a relationship with another person and they're combating this energy. They're warding off this person because this person is already committed. This person already has a wife or a husband um, and, and you're kind of shooing this person away, okay? Because you don't need it. You feel like you don't need this energy. You're standing on your ground, on your morals, your principles, your ground here in terms of a person. 
somebody doesn't have any intention, any progression, they don't want any progression, they don't have any good intentions or any intentions at all for a relationship. They just want to have you, want to possess you. They love your good nature, your nurturing nature. Um, they love your energy. Um, this person doesn't have any intention of leaving their marriage. They're dedicated to the empire, to the legacy that they're building. Um, they could have a lot of resources, finance, finances uh, tied up with their uh, living partner or marriage partner. Somebody's not leaving again, um, which is making somebody absolutely horrible, uh, miserable. Um, okay, so one more card. The Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. There's no opportunity here. There's no opportunity for growth. Upright, it says the seed of productivity can be planted in the reverse. The seed of what? Unproductivity. I mean, there's no opportunity for growth here in some connection. It's altogether a cheating scandal. Pride comes before the fall. Somebody's very prideful, um, choosing themselves, putting themselves before uh, duty, uh, obligation. Somebody just doesn't care. Somebody's all for themselves, okay? This is what I have for you. If it resonates for you, go over to the website, book your own reading there. Take advantage of the text question where you can text a question to the number below. You can also do donate to the channel by clicking the buy me a coffee link. Thank you, Aries. Many blessings to you. Take care.